Hey, James at Barber Creek Long Range Shooting School in Eagle Ballistics. I'm going to range the plate out there at a thousand ish. So I guess from here it's a thousand and eight. Got the compass direction azimuth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the settings in Eagle Ballistics and I am going to go to other and I'm going to select what I'm going to use. At first I'll use Google Maps just to show you. And if I go up top and I go to the drop pin, it's going to open up Google Maps and show you exactly where that target is. As you can see, there it is perfectly. Um, and you can see it's a little behind the plate, and that's probably just the rangefinder, but that's close enough. All right, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to try to range the elk, and we're going to do the same thing, and I'm going to use something called Mill GPS. Uh, now, Google Earth isn't bad. And again, the problem I'm having is the plate's kind of blocking the elk, but we're close enough. So let's go into mill GPS, hit settings. We're gonna switch this over from the other block to mill GPS. And we are going to click on, again, the drop pin. And I'm gonna name this elk, because I just arranged the elk target. I gotta to learn to spell elk, I guess. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna hit done, import, show it on map. And what I like about mill GPS is that's exactly where the elk is, by the way. And it looks like it's about maybe 10 yards further. Could be the rangefinder, could be the actual plate that I'm hitting out there. Um, let's go to the actual, what I call navigation program. Click on it, click again, go to navigate to waypoint, and I'm going to use navigation screen and look at that. I got an actual arrow that is taking me to the elk, so let's take a ride. All right, so this is gonna get a little bumpy. We're gonna drive in my truck. I'm gonna leave the navigation screen up. Hopefully my truck doesn't mess with it as far as the compass direction. I'm gonna spin you guys around so you don't have to look at my ugly mug, so stand by. All right, here we go. We're gonna follow the nav. And I'm gonna take roundabout way on purpose so on purpose I'm taking a side road like I would if I was hunting all right I'm gonna be quiet and speed this up so you don't be on my camera all day you can see the arrows telling us to turn left which we are All right, let's see what we got. This is really a pain to do when you're trying to uh, do two things at once. All right, as you can tell, we're right next to the elk. Give me a second here. I'm gonna switch over to the map and let's see how close we are, all right? All right, as you can see, let me count how many steps off. Here's the elk target. Boy, that's not bad. 13 steps off, stand by, from the elk. There's the elk target. So I'm 13 steps off. Uh, let me stop recording this real quick. All right. So we just, I'm sorry guys, this is hard to do with a tab. This is a tablet. We just range an elk and not even really range the elk. We hit something over here because these plates are blocking where I was ranging from, but we were very close. We got the compass direction. Um, so we basically ranged an elk at a thousand yards. We were able to navigate directly to it, compass direction wise using Eagle Ballistics and Mill GPS. And we were also able to 
be within 13 steps of it. Now again, try to set you down here, reasonable. 13 steps, and let me talk about mill GPS, which is pretty cool. So the interesting part about it, I can use the location and you can see, I'm gonna do a screenshot. Well, let me try to record this at the same time. So with mill GPS, I can actually get MGRS. So I can actually drop a grid coordinates. I can use navigate, which you saw, that's the arrow. I can use the map and I can actually zoom in of where I'm physically standing. I'm not by the elk now. And I can see that. And if I zoom out, you can see where I did it from, from the rifle range, from the shoot house. I was standing about right here when I did it. Um, so this is a really cool program and I really like the mill GPS. It is a one-time purchase. So this works really good with Eagle Ballistics, probably covering the camera with my big thumb. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Mill GPS and Eagle Ballistics, great combination for dropping a pin where the animal was before you shot it. All right, thanks for watching.